All right, I'm gonna make a video for you on how to change the seals on a 911 backhoe, the swing cylinder. Um, I had a lot of problems figuring this out. I couldn't find anything on the internet. I couldn't find anything from the Bobcat, and it's not covered in the service manual on how to actually disassemble the actual internal parts of the cylinder. So basically what you have here is a barrel that goes on each end and then down in this barrel there's only two seals. You have the wiper seal and then you have the oil seal. And my understanding is this one will go down below but it'll go this direction on the tube. Now the big problem was how do you get this tube apart? The end caps. Because these were jammed in here. And they were in the whole way. And they were held in place by a couple snap rings. Snap clips, whatever you want to call them. This was easy to remove. Took this out. But this was jammed inside here. And we could not get it out. We didn't know how it came apart. So what we ended up doing was uh, my father-in-law helped me. We made a tool for my air chisel. And it has this little nub on it. And what I did was uh, drilled a hole through this chisel. And then put a grade 8 bolt through there and cut it off short. And what that does, it allows for this to ride inside this ball check hole inside there's a little ball relief now it is going to mar it up a little bit and one other note i didn't hammer on this real hard i just barely got it going so it would spin in a circle while it was spinning in a circle my father-in-law on this relief valve inserted two of these picks like so, and he put back pressure on this housing as I was spinning it around with the air chisel. That worked really good until we got out flush where these picks were riding flush on the edge. So he came up with the idea to put these nuts on the pick and it rode, we had them centered on this ledge. And again, he was prying with two of these, one on each side, because there's a hole inside this relief nipple. And he pried back on it. And then I rotated it around. So once we got it out, we were like, okay, we're going to have to do that to the other end. It's not too bad, though, once we figured it out. But he's a genius. Since we had the one end open... We were able to slide a big long wooden stick inside the tube and he tapped it with a hammer and I was here at the other end and I caught it and it came right out. So a piece of cake when you know how to do it. Well, unfortunately I couldn't find out how to do it so it took me a couple days of figuring and trying out different things. Now this is a whole project here to get this swing cylinder off um, I had to drop the hoe boom unhook the lines number them label them and then I had to drive that pin out with a sledgehammer literally beat it for a couple days to get it out and this is what it looks like there's a bearing on each end of it an eccentric type of bearing and uh what happened was, this was the top end and the bolt came out, so I was able to drive the pin down through. But the bottom pin had broken off, the bottom bolt, so I had to re-thread all that. I literally drilled out, I think it's a grade 10 bolt, and re-thread it. It uses a 5, what is it, a 5 8 5 8 11 NC tap to um, re-thread it. Oh, the other thing is, 
from beading on this, I did have to re-thread this end too. It was um, mushroomed out a little bit, so I ran that tap through both ends. But you can see these slide on here real easy now. And before, they didn't move at all, so I had to clean them up. Now, an interesting note, this bottom eccentric bearing developed a little crack on it. Uh, yeah, right there. You can see it right there. And I heard it do it, and what happened was, once I had that pin driven out, and I was able to get this uh, big gear out, I had, the only thing I had left was the shaft and the bearing, which was down in here. So at that point, I was able to take the plate bolts out, lift the plate up, and remove the whole shaft with that one bearing left on it. And then I brought it over here to my press, and I pressed it out. And it came out really easy on the press. The only problem is, is when I got to the last stroke, I heard the little snap. And um, that's when it's cracked. So I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I don't think it's going to hurt anything, to be honest. So that's the process. It's a bitch. It's a major, major job. So um, I couldn't find any videos on it, but it's for the Bobcat 911 swing cylinder. And it may fit a couple other models. So I'm going to shoot this out on YouTube. I seem to do a video once every couple years. And uh, this will be the video for this one. Good day.